Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there's that. And I'm out of Q-tips. Give me one second. So I don't think we've ever had like a mistake on a live. That's what happens when you don't use a lazy Susan because it's really easy to Honestly, I might just take a Pampers wet wipe. And wipe this up. Okay, you guys, this video is gonna end up going way longer because I'm gonna have to fix this. So do you guys want me to continue? Or we could just call it. It's up to you guys. That is a factor we have to consider when doing live streams. So I just like to get as much of it up as possible, especially the wet paint, because I like to go back over it with the black base. So in order to do that, you just have to make sure that the wet paint, it's okay if it's dried a little bit, but Okay, I will continue. Most of you said continue, so I'll continue and then, yeah. If some of you have to go, that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I just wanna make sure that all of the wet stuff is up. And then I'm just gonna grab one of my paint palettes and I'm gonna grab the same base paint. So I guess there's pros and cons to a Lazy Susan. When you use it, it's easier to spin. So the reason that happened was because I was not using the Lazy Susan and I swiped it with my finger. So I'm just gonna grab the black base paint and just put some into the palette. And then just grab a brush. I'm gonna use this, just kind of like medium. Something that we can get up close to that orange swoosh. And we just start painting over it. Well, now you guys know I am in fact human. And I make mistakes. Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry for a sec. I'm gonna grab. So now that is pretty dry. So the only thing that kind of sucks when you have a mistake like that and you paint it over is now we don't have the guide marks. 
So we just kind of have to eyeball it. And I also don't remember all of the tool sizes, so we're just going to eyeball it a bit. 